Today on the Ask for Recruiter video series, why focusing on experience will help you get paid and get paid very well. We'll talk about it today. Hey everyone, it's Bertram from the Ask a Recruiter video series. And I recently connected with someone that has a lot of experience within medical coding, but they're very niche at the moment. So they do believe that they have a lot of medical coding experience that a lot of jobs require. They require you to have at least three years of hands-on experience. But they don't have a lot of experience doing this particular new niche of medical coding that she's seeking. And I could relate to her a lot because when I first started within corporate, I was more of a marketing focus as that's what I studied in college and that was my first job straight out of college. But right after college, I realized that marketing really isn't the industry that I see myself having a lot of longevity or a lot of job security. So I too, prior in my career, saw that I had to shift. And what really helped me get through the hump and really being able to get a job as a recruiter and get paid very well and handsomely as a recruiter is essentially not focusing on the money at all, but more focusing on the experience. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to realize, especially if you are an employee working for an employer, your money and your salary can change essentially at any time. Your employment can change with that employer at any time. But what they can never take away from you is your experience and also the lessons learned working within that industry. So my advice to this person that I connected with most recently is if you're looking to actually get into doing a different type of coding, let's say you're doing inpatient coding or you're doing only outpatient and you're looking to do the other side, inpatient or outpatient, even if it's just on a part-time basis, even if they're only paying you, I'd say it's five dollars above minimum wage, I would highly suggest you to go out and just start that position. Just get that experience. Because you know what I love about work? When it comes to work, they're paying you, of course, to work, and that's time, and that's definitely your most valuable asset, but we're also getting something so valuable in return. We are getting experience. And that's whether you work for this employer or the next 10 employers, or whether you decide to start your own company, open your own recruiting agency, as an example. And that's something that they can never take away from you. So please, do not be so short-sighted. Do not only see the green. Do not only see, hey, I need this, and I need to get paid because I have bills to pay, I have debt. That's all, that's all very valid. I mean, even for myself, when I was shifting careers, I had over $10,000 in revolving credit card debt. No matter how much I did not go on a vacation, no matter how much I needed the money and I tried to save and I, I did staycations anytime I had some PTO, what really helped me was not focusing on that financial burden, but more focusing on let me get some experience and let me not just get some experience, let me be the best at the job and what I can do. And when I did that, that's when everything changed. Once I had that experience, not only I was getting paid handsomely for what I was doing, but also others were reaching out to me as to, hey Bertram, we would love for you to work for our organization. And that's something that I, I believe I wouldn't have gotten or the opportunities I wouldn't have gotten if I only focused on the money. So if you are someone or if you know somebody that's looking to shift careers or looking to do a different type of specialty or just you know, a massive change within your, within your career path, I would highly suggest you to focus on the experience. Because once you get the experience and then you become very great at the experience, a lot of folks will be able to pay you and be willing to pay you very handsomely for that very same experience. So this is Bertram from the Ask or Recruiter Video Series. I really appreciate everyone's likes, shares, and comments. Is there anything that you would like to ask a recruiter? Please comment below or send me a DM and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.